Y'all remember that viral video of the woman who went on vacation for 11 days and left the kids with her husband and when she came back, the house was toe up from the flow up? She made a follow up video. Watch it and then we'll talk about it. Looks like she really showed him by throwing all the kids stuff away. He was the one left in charge. He's the adult in the situation. And she really showed him by getting rid of the kids stuff. Now, hold on a minute. Wait a minute. There's a deeper issue here. Most women, not all, I understand that. Most women who are mean to other people, nine times out of 10, it is misplaced anger. They're really mad at a man that they're with. But for some reason, patriarchy, fear, any number of things, they're not gonna get angry at him, but they're gonna take it out on everybody else. Now, this could just be a joke, a joke, and she probably really didn't throw all the kids shit away. But let's talk about this. Because joke, skit or not, stuff like this does happen in real life. Situations like this is where you get the wife won't ask the dad to do things around the house and help take care of the kids. But she'll ask her kids to do that. Usually the daughter. And then that child becomes the surrogate parent for the parent that's not doing shit. A situation where a man cheats on his wife or girlfriend, but she goes to fight the other woman and gets mad at the other woman and blasts the other woman. Meanwhile, he's cozy and laid up next to her in bed every night. I once had a boss at this bank I used to work at. I'm sorry, this banana Laffy Taffy is fire. I once had a boss that I used to work with at a bank. She was mean, mean. Come to find out as I get to know her, her boyfriend is com a complete asshole to her. Completely emotionally unavailable to her. Walks two steps ahead of her in public. A stay-at-home mom who's snapping at her kids and yelling and screaming. Has a whole man at home who ain't doing shit. And is taking advantage of her and exploiting her for her free labor. I once heard someone who works in the prison system say that a large majority of women who are locked up are there because of a man. And I also believe that and the fact that a large majority of women who are angry and snippy and short and mean and cruel, the root of that is a man. And a lot of it has to do with the fact that a lot of women feel as if they can't leave these men or they think that they need a man because of patriarchy. So they have to tell themselves anything that they possibly can. They have to make it be anybody else's fault other than the person whose fault is that it actually is. So that it can make them feel better about the fact that they don't want to leave or aren't ready to leave or whatever the case may be that's causing them to stay. Another example of this is you see your friend is in a toxic relationship and you go to tell her and she gets mad at you and decides she never wants to talk to you again but stays with the man. I used to be that type of person who would get mad at the messenger. This is reason number 579,000, in no particular order, why we must continue the work of decentering men. Because we are so brainwashed into thinking that we can't live without a man, that we don't have any worth unless we have a man, that we will direct our anger and frustration at other people, innocent people, like our children, in order to avoid confronting that man. And if you think I am overreacting, there are women who will allow their partners to abuse in every way their own children in order to keep the man. There are women who will kick their children, children out of their homes in order to keep the man. So you see that video and you think, uh -huh, it's a joke. It's not that serious. I see that video and I am remembering all the horrific stories I'm hearing from women, even men, who had to grow up really fast because they were kicked out of the house or because they were abused and taken advantage of by their mom's romantic partner because she would not stand up for them. So this is very serious.